Okay, in the last um, video we talked about how to find the maximum revenue for this problem. Now they're asking us to go a little bit further. They say profit is given as P of X equals R of X minus C of X. This means profit is equal to the revenue minus the cost. So they're asking us to find the profit function. Well, up here, they um, gave us the revenue function and the cost function to begin with. So really, all we have to do is plug it in here. The profit will equal the revenue, which we know to be 75x minus 0.2x squared. Now we're going to subtract from that the cost function. The cost function they identified as 32x plus 1750. Now notice that I put the cost function in parentheses. I did that on purpose because we're going to be subtracting off more than one thing. So I did that to help remind me that I need to distribute that negative. So now let's clean this up. This is going to be 75x minus 0.2x squared minus 32x minus 1750. And then we can collect our like terms. Now I'm going to put this in the right order as we go. So I'm going to write this as negative 0.2x squared. And then we're going to combine our 75x and our negative 32x into positive 43x. And then we have minus 1750. This now is our profit function. Now in the next part, they say how many wristwatches must the firm sell to maximize profit? And then what is that maximum profit? So here they're asking us basically to find the vertex. Remember when we're talking about quadratics, the maximum is the vertex. They're basically just asking us to find the vertex for this profit function. Well, we can do that. We've had a lot of practice at that. We know that x will equal negative b over 2a. So x will equal negative, what's our b value here? Well, that would be the 43 over 2 times a, which the a is, remember, the coefficient of the x squared term. So that's negative 0.2. And now when we simplify that, negative 43 divided by 2 times negative 0.2 is going to be, don't forget, these are wristwatches, so we need to sell a whole number of wristwatches, not a partial number. So we're going to go ahead and round that to 108 wristwatches. It will take selling that many to maximize our profit. Now, we need to know what is the maximum profit. Well, we know that the profit equals negative 0.2 times x, which we are going to use 108 squared, plus 43 times, instead of x, we're using 108, minus 1750. And now when we simplify this, we can just use our calculator for that, we're going to get 561.2. But again, remember, this is an application problem, so money is dollars and cents. Our maximum profit then would be $561.20. And it didn't matter what we were doing here in these problems. You know, we had to really know what they're asking us. If they say maximize the revenue, we're finding the vertex for the revenue function. If they had, and then later on, the profit. So you have to know which function it is that you're working with. But other than that, it's really just a matter of finding the vertex.